So good evening, this is TV7 Israel News, broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Israel will not relent until all of Hezbollah's border installations are eradicated. A deadly Hezbollah strike kills four IDF soldiers and wounds 59 others. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reiterates Israel's call on Unifield to withdraw from a number of its border posts. Israel continues to battle the Islamic Republic of Iran and its separate proxies on seven separate fronts. And while the IDF, in close cooperation with the other organizations of Israel's defense establishment, are making consistent gains, the raging war continues to exact a heavy price. The Iranian proxy Hezbollah launched hundreds of projectiles over the weekend, including approximately 320 on Saturday alone, when Israelis mark the Day of Atonement, or Yom Kippur in Hebrew. Meanwhile, on Sunday evening, while firing dozens of rockets, Hezbollah also launched two one-way unmanned aerial vehicles toward Israeli territory from Lebanon through the Mediterranean Sea. Israel's aerial defense array successfully intercepted one of those UAVs, while the second managed to penetrate Israeli airspace directly targeting an IDF training base mess hall, killing four soldiers and wounding nearly 60 others. I am standing here in the central region of the United States, in the central region of the United States. In the of the United States, there is a of the of the אנחנו עכשיו עסוקים בליצור קשר עם משפחותיהם. כל החיילים בבסיס הונחו להתקשר הביתה ולהתקן את משפחותיהם שהם בסדר. אנחנו מנהלים את האירוע, אנחנו נלמד ונתחקר את האירוע כיצד כלי טיס בלתי מאויש חודר ללא התראה ופוגע פה בבסיס. איום כלי הטיס הבלתי מאוישים הוא איום שאנחנו מתמודדים איתו מתחילת המלחמה. אנחנו נדרשים להביא הגנה טובה יותר, אנחנו נתחקר את האירוע הזה, נלמד ונשתפר. Meanwhile, on Israel's northern front, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant, during a visit to an observation post overseeing southern Lebanon, asserted that every Lebanese village, which Hezbollah developed into a forward base, will be destroyed. מה שמאפיין את המקומות האלה זה שכל אחד ואחד מהם זה יעד צבאי ומוצב תת-קרקעי עם הרבה מאוד מנהרות, עם אמצעי אמלח, מצאו פה מאות RPGים, מקלעים, טילי נ"ט, ואת כל הדברים האלה צה"ל משמיד עכשיו, יעד אחר יעד, מתחת לאדמה ומעל לאדמה. אני הנחיתי את כוחות צה"ל מהמטה הכללי ומטה. שכל מקום כזה לא רק שיושמד, אלא שלא נאפשר את חזרתם של המחבלים אל תוך המקומות האלה. זה הדבר החיוני על מנת לשמור את ביטחונם של תושבי הצפון. הפעולה של צה"ל היא עוצמתית, חזקה מאוד. אנחנו פועלים בכל עומק השטח. השמדנו תשתיות בביירות, בבקעה ובכל רוחב לבנון, ועכשיו בקו המגע. In one of the referred to Hezbollah villages deep behind enemy lines, IDF Chief of General Staff, Lieutenant General Helzia Levy, as well as ISA Director Ronen Bar, held a joint situational assessment with the IDF Northern Command Commander, Major General Ori Gordin, and the 91st Division Commanding Officer, among other field commanders. אנחנו ממשיכים להילחם באויב ואנחנו לא עוצרים עד שאנחנו לא מבינים שאנחנו יודעים להחזיר את התושבים לא רק בביטחון עכשיו, גם בהתבוננות עתידית. ואם מישהו יבוא לבנות את הכפרים האלה עוד פעם, יגיד לא כדאי לבנות תשתיות טרור, כי צה"ל יחריב את הכפר הזה שוב. It is important to know the tensions are rising between Israel and a number of European nations. After two Unifil peacekeepers from the Indonesian deployment sustained light injuries when a tower at the Unifil headquarters in Akura sustained a hit. 
Definitely this is probably one of the most uh, serious uh, events or, or incidents that uh, has uh, been uh, uh, that we have been seeing and witnessing the last 12 months. Uh, that there has been an intense shelling throughout the last 12 months, but yesterday one of our positions was hit by an Israeli tank. Uh, the position was actually Unifil headquarters in Nakura, uh, and, uh, and it was a tower with two peacekeepers uh, monitoring uh, the, 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 the situation. Uh, the tank hit the tower, two peacekeepers actually were injured. Uh, luckily not seriously, but they're still at the hospital. Uh, that's very serious. The Unifil spokesman went on to acknowledge that Israel had asked the UN contingent to withdraw from a number of their positions amid intensifying battles. We know that uh, a few days ago the IDF asked us to move from certain positions along the Blue Line. Uh, this is a known fact and we have over 29 positions along the Blue Line, like the Irish in Maruna Ras. And, uh, and uh, we decided to stay. There was an agreement uh, with all the troop contributing countries that it's important for the UN to be there to fly the UN flag. And we continue to monitor the situation. We are there because the Security Council has asked us to be there. So we are staying until the situation becomes impossible for us to operate. It is important to highlight that it remains unclear whether the Unifil site was struck directly or by a tank shells debris. Nevertheless, Italy, France, Spain, Ireland and other contributing members of UNIFIL have condemned Israel and demanded an explanation. Enfin, évoquant le Liban, avec les premiers ministres italiens et espagnols qui représentent comme la France des contributeurs historiques à la FINUL, je veux dire ici que les 700 soldats français engagés dans cette force sont le signe de notre soutien indéfectible. Et de notre volonté d'être engagé à la sécurité tout à la fois d'Israël et du Liban. Il est donc tout à fait inacceptable de voir les troupes de la FINUL visées délibérément par les forces armées israéliennes. Nous le condamnons, nous ne le tolérons pas et ne tolérons pas que cela se reproduise. Et je remercie. Meanwhile, in Jerusalem, Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu appealed to the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres to heed Israel's call for relocating Unifil troops from a number of battle-stricken locations. אני רוצה מכאן לפנות ישירות למזכ"ל האו"ם. הגיע הזמן שתוציא את יוניפיל ממעוזי החיזבאללה וממרחבי הלחימה. צה"ל ביקש זאת שוב ושוב, והוא נתקל בסירוב שוב ושוב, שכל כולו מכוון לתת חומת מגן אנושית למחבלי חיזבאללה. הסירוב שלך לפנות את חיילי יוניפיל הופך אותם לבני ערובה של חיזבאללה. זה מסכן גם אותם וגם את חיי חיילינו. אנו מצירים על הפגיעה בחיילי יוניפיל ואנחנו עושים כל שביכולתנו כדי למנוע פגיעה זאת. אבל הדרך הפשוטה והמתבקשת כדי להבטיח זאת היא פשוט להוציא אותה מאזור הסכנה. Mr. Secretary General, get the uniform forces out of harm's way. It should be run right now, immediately. Netanyahu also responded to growing pressure applied on Israel by European leaders. לצערי, כמה ממנהיגי אירופה מפעילים לחץ במקום הלא נכון. במקום להעביר ביקורת על ישראל, הם צריכים להפנות את הביקורת שלהם לחיזבאללה, שמשתמש ביונפיל כמגן אנושי, בדיוק כפי שחמאס בעזה משתמש באונר"א כמגן אנושי. לצערי, שם גם אונר"א משתף פעולה עם חמאס. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken highlighted the grim situation in Lebanon that has granted Israel legitimacy to confront Lebanon's Iranian proxy Hezbollah. One of the main challenges that we've seen in Lebanon uh, is the fact that Hezbollah effectively has taken over many state functions and in particular in holding on to its, uh, its arms, which is not supposed to be the case. Remember, Israel was in southern Lebanon for a long time, 18 years, and it got out in 2000. And part of getting Israel out of Lebanon were important understandings that are in UN Security Council Resolution 1701, 1559, that, among other things, would make sure that forces are not up at the, at the border between the country, certainly not irregular forces like Hezbollah, and non-state actors were supposed to be disarmed. Well, that didn't happen. And Hezbollah has posed an ongoing threat to Israel ever since. Washington's top diplomat went on to highlight that Hezbollah's unprovoked war of aggression against Israel 
began over a year ago. When the horror of October 7th happened, the next day, uh, Hezbollah joined in, trying to create uh, another front. In the process, the rockets and other munitions that they were launching in, in, into northern Israel forced people to flee from their homes. And some 70,000 Israelis have had to leave their homes. Uh, similarly, in southern Lebanon, because Israel responded to these attacks from, from Hezbollah, you have many people who had to leave their homes. This is well before the last few weeks. This is what happened uh, over the last year. With Hezbollah heavily battered and the people of Lebanon increasingly expressing hope to oust Iran from their country, Blinken stressed that the United States in consultations with both regional and international actors are working to help the Lebanese reclaim their country by reinvigorating the leadership in Beirut. Thank you for watching TV7 Israel News. I would like to encourage you, pray for the peace of Jerusalem and salvation of Israel. Separately, if you're blessed by our productions, which are exclusively donation-based, please consider supporting our programs with a donation. You can do so via our website at www.tv7israelnews.com. I'm Jonathan Hessen, wishing you a Shavua Mevorach, and God willing, we will see you during our next update. Until then, Shalom from Jerusalem.